Cuts to the line. Cuts to the left. He's going. I think he's going. Oh! Hi, welcome to Rant and Rave on IcyColorLive.tv. This week is a very special week here on Rant and Rave because it's our, um, the 1984 graduating class of Poly, it's our 30 year anniversary, right? And we're gonna have, uh, uh, what do we call it? They had skating last night, yes. right? World of skating. T tonight we're gonna meet over at Birdland for a happy hour. And then tomorrow we actually have the reunion. Yes. Saturday, you know, it's actually Poly City game. It's time for Poly to get a win. And then on Sunday, you know, we're going to attend church with uh, Reginald, right? Yes. yes. So it's going to be a really, really busy time for us, but we're going to enjoy each other. Every minute. You All know, the time. It's been 30 years. Can you believe it? No. no. Do it look like it's been 30 years? Hi. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> no, uh, don't do that one, Paul. Uh, do something else. Don't do that one. <laughs> so. We all look great, though. We yeah, look absolutely. great for 30 years. God is great. Yes, he is. And, you know, um, you know, we're going to have a good time uh, with our 30-year reunion. It's going to be so good to see so many people yes. mm -hmm. that, you know, I haven't seen because I, I, really, I hadn't participated, years. you know, because as most of you who are close to me know that I went to Poly for three years and then went to Forest Park for one year. So I tend to, I, you know, I relate. My friends all were from Poly, my mm -hmm. real close friends. I made a few friends at Forest Park. But my close friends, lifelong friends, lifelong friends have come from Poly. And so I'm just really looking forward to it, seeing all the people yes. having fun, yes. enjoying it, tripping, yes. you know, talking about all the crazy stuff we used to do. They and used to do. They? I, I have a halo around here. She's I talking on the side of her neck. Exactly. I mean, you will see the pictures, I promise. You know, we got a presentation that'll be going up on our site. That, um, yeah, Miss Miss Halo back here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get some pictures of it. Y'all know it. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> but we are here for rant and rave. So we're gonna talk about the Baltimore Ravens a little bit. Um, hey, we got two road losses. You know, we went from first place to, to last, last place, place. Mm. in our division. Yes. Um, Losing to Cincinnati and to Pittsburgh in the division has just been hard, um, but it's not the end of the world. No, uh, no. I think you know. I think that you know um, we can get it together. And and like, what are some of the things you think, Teresa? Maybe that you know we need to do to step up and start writing the ship. The, the first thing is our secondary. I sound like a broken record, probably. But this has been something that's been an issue for me for quite some time. When we win as well as when we lose, that's our weakest link right now. Absolutely. That up front, that running game, really, the Steelers could have put up almost maybe 100 points on us. Sure. sure. They tried in that first half. That running game is not going to work with us. Mm -hmm. We are like six without running defense. Right. We came into Sunday being 19th right. without passing defense. Mm -hmm. It's just open season back there. That's where we've got to put the most into. Mm -hmm. And after Sunday's game, giving up, you know, giving Ben 340 yards, we dropped to 24. Yeah, absolutely. That's the wrong direction to be going for the second half awesome. of our season. Absolutely. So we're exposed now mm -hmm. early on, and we've got a long way to go. Like you said, we're not done by any means at all. Right. The Ravens have never really done at any point. But that secondary is where we've got to right now. Mm -hmm. Not down the road right now. We've got to fix starting this week with Tennessee. Well, I think, you know, the Ravens have started that, you know, in Ozzy we trust. You know, uh, he made some changes this week. Um, sort of like in my fantasy thing, you know, he <laughs> some quotes and some gets some challenges, some consequences and repercussions going on from all this, you know, and so, you know, Chucky Brown, I mean, had to go, got cut, you know, and um, 
You know, we brung in, again, we brung in some defensive backs that I've never heard of or whatever. But, hey, Chucky Brown was getting burnt like toast. You know what I mean? I, I, he, he, he was worse than, who was it I, I had the problem with? Kerry Williams. He was worse than Kerry Williams. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, it, it, he you didn't even know he was on the field until he got burned. He didn't contribute. You know what I'm yeah, saying? There was yeah. nothing that defensively he contributed to. Right. He didn't make stops. Didn't intercept the ball. Right. He just got burnt, like right. you said, like toast. Wasn't so, good run support. You know. So. No. So anyway, I think you know we're gonna have to really believe in that in Ozzy. We trust in that. You know, he's gonna be able to bring some people in, and um, you know, get that secondary together. Yes. Because, um, we definitely we got some tough games ahead, you know. We still got to finish out the division. Yes. Uh, you know, we we still got our bye week to go into, and maybe we can write a little bit of the team, you know, during the bye week. Yes. Um, man, it's just it just has been one heck of a season already. And to have your divisional games so early on, right? Because, you know, Paul has been giving me kudos, right. but I get a big doink because I made this vast announcement when the schedule came out in right, April right. that week nine my Ravens would be the AFC North champions. Right. Well in week nine and we number four. Yeah. We, we at the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. But those are my babies. Those are my boys and I'm not giving up on them. I just thought we had a chance to, you know, take this so early on they had all yeah. the division games. So now the last division game we had is our last game, right. which is against the Browns. But they still have to battle out, so it doesn't mean that we're going to stay in last place. Right, exactly. The division is really tough. It's uh, one of the first times that everybody in the division has a winning record. Yes. And, um, you know, so, you know, but everybody can't make the playoffs. No four teams from one division cannot make the That's playoffs. That's right. So, you know, we're going to have to step it up and play some games. You know, there's a, around the NFL, there's a lot of people who got to step it up. Uh, word is right now that uh, Roger Goodell, the commissioner, is going to have to step it up in this court case coming up. Well, uh, arbitration hearing uh, for Ray Rice, and with that, Jackie's going to you know tell us a little bit about what's going on there. Well, Goodell's getting ready to play a game, deal or no deal. <laughs> right. He's getting ready to say, okay, I'm going to deal, or I'm going to be. I'm going to have the fur ripped off me. <laughs> right, right, right. That's Pretty much. it in a nutshell. Pretty much. Um, Wednesday, mm -hmm. he will be um, Kessler, uh, the lawyer for yes. Ray Rice. Mm -hmm. is, they will be holding their arbitration to hear his case. Mm -hmm. And apparently, Goodell and Kessler have met before. Mm -hmm. They're not friends. <laughs> and Goodell is going to have to friend. either make a deal to let Ray Rice back in the NFL, mm -hmm. or he's going to have to go through arbitration and have Kessler tear him a new one. Oh yeah. And from what I hear, Kessler is nothing to play with. Oh yeah. That's Kessler's going to make him. I mean, he's going to be under oath. Not to say people don't lie right. under mm -hmm. oath, right. but he's going to be under oath, so he should tell the truth. And he's going to find out. You know, he's going to ask, Kessler's going to ask him. Did you know about the tape? When did you know about the tape? Mm -hmm. Before you handed down his two-game suspension, you know, did you have all the facts? Right. So they're going to, um, it's deal or no deal. Pull those cards. So I think really he should be um, opening that suitcase to make a deal. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, put the whole NFL, the other owners on point because they're his employers, right? Right, exactly. That this is the type that you've left right. in this position. Mm -hmm. right. right. So, you know, in in the hearing, let's say it goes the way that the, the pundits have said and Ray Rice is reinstated back into the league. Is there a team out there, and I guess I'll guess Teresa, do you think, is there a team out there that probably would like sign, a team that you know that really needs a running back that will sign Ray Rice? I can't name, the answer is yes. But to name a specific team, I can't because. <laughs> Wait a minute. What about a spite team? Who do you who, who do you think I, a spite I, team would be that you would know, hire? I I think because the first team I think of is uh the Patriots and that at Belichick. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I, I see him doing it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I do, you know, there was these little rumors on Facebook about the Steelers. Mm-hmm. The Bumblebees? That's yeah, what yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> you said that name before I could say the Bumblebees. I, 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 could, I could see them doing it as a, like you said, a pundit to us. Mm-hmm. Somebody know. in our division where you got to see him yeah. twice a year, every year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what Cleveland. I mean? Yeah. And think about, you know, yeah. y'all. Like Cleveland, let's, right. Cleveland he is taking a lot of up and let this man go. Now he playing against you. Right. And he going to come at you and every time. He going to come at you. Right. It's There's going to be like, consequences and repercussions. We <laughs> the it's, fight. It's, it's like Jimmy Smith. Right. He knows you. Right. Exactly. He knows you. Exactly. And y'all done talked in the locker room too? He knows you, so he know which defensive players he can get around. Right. He know the lazy ones, the slow ones, the big ones. You know, whatever. I'm not calling y'all that. I'm just right. saying. Right. right. You know. Hey, right. I mean, he knows where the bodies are buried. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Plain and simple. You know. Yeah. What? Yep. So, um, with that, then you know what? With that, though, I wish Ray Rice all the yes. luck. Yes. That Definitely. it takes. I think Definitely. he deserves to be uh, reinstated back in the league. I think he deserves to play out his career. With a team that With wants 18, him, yes. you know, it's nothing like being wanted, you know, um, by a, a city. And and I'm really ashamed of my city, yes. of our city, and the way that we handled Ray Rice. It was horrible what he did, but forgiveness is always out there for everyone. Um, and and if his wife could forgive him, her family could forgive him. Again, they're talking about Adrian Peterson, and Adrian Peterson uh, reduced his charge down to a misdemeanor. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so what the word is, is that since the state of uh, Texas knocked it down to a misdemeanor, then why should the NFL step in? Well, why should the NFL step in with the Ray Rice case? His, right. This it's case still got a dismissed. personal conduct right. violation. Yeah. Right. So, right. exactly. You arrested this man, you indicted him, so yes, he has to go through the same thing. Right. Now, you two tell me, what do you think as far as... Um, like you said, this city, I'm embarrassed. Mm-hmm. Do you think, either of you, that if Bashadi had stood by this man, mm-hmm. would our city had gone to this extreme? No. No, no. I, I don't think. And that's why I still have my issues with Bashadi. Right. Mm-hmm. I do. I, nobody accepts what he did, right. like you said, but you tossed him out. Yep. Mm-hmm. You were the one that said, I'll buy back the jersey. He started this whole right. turmoil thing. Right. Yeah, he, right. he, he yeah. was trying to appease he lit that someone piece. else. He lit yes. There was some other entity, group, people, yes. whatever, that he was trying to uh, appeal to. You know, maybe it was a major sponsor. Maybe it was simply his wife. I don't know, but it right. was someone uh, that had some real strong influence on Bashadi that got him started rolling that way. Because looking at Steve Bashadi, he parties. He has yes. a great time. He, yes. he, let's just say he's pretty liberal in his moral yes. conduct. Yeah, that ain't too bad to say. <laughs> so to yes. say that, you know, that's why he appealed and tried to only get Ray Rice two games. Right. You know what I mean? In right. the first place, right? So it, it shows where he was. He wasn't thinking, you know, we're going to get this guy out of the league and he's the nope. worst thing that ever happened. No. Nope. You know. Mm-hmm. So, nope. you know, things just didn't go right, and some true character was shown by the Ravens organization, which we all felt, you know, um, at least us on this show, we felt was uh, inappropriate. Yes. You know, but, you know, we'll we'll get through it. We will get through it. And again, we wish Ray Rice and and his wife the 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 very best. 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 And I hope they win the case. Yep. Yes. And, you know, with that, guys, we're going to have a short week. We thank you for watching Rant and Rave here on IcyColorLive.tv. But we about to go party. We catch y'all next week. Getting it in. All right, peace. 84. Oh, no, no. <laughs>